What is up guys, I'm back with another Watch Dogs video, and today we are going to be going on a rampage, because I am running out of ideas when it comes to Watch Dogs. I know guys, I'm so sorry, but with the rampage, if you don't know what a rampage is, it's basically a challenge to get five, well in GTA, it's called five star challenge, but in here, it is called rampage. So it will take down your reputation, most likely down to Menace, which I already have it down to because I don't care. I will change it later, but for now, I just feel like it's appropriate to go on a rampage. So if you guys enjoy, drop a like. Hopefully you did. Any of you guys, let's get into it. So the first thing you gotta do to go on a rampage is make sure you have full ammo on everything. I have already gone to the, gone to the gun shop and got everything I can except for more of these like the craftables I only have frag gra grenades and lures but frag grenades are good for this because level one of the rampage stage um, wanted level one cops once level two helicopter once level three the helicopter will shoot you once level four SWAT team comes wanted level five rampage mode it is so good but once you start running out of ammo at the end of it you need to use your focus ability to conserve ammo and put one bullet into the head so anyway guys let's start the rampage so if you're doing a rampage you obviously don't care about your reputation so just start shooting some civilians that are near you don't shoot the person that is calling the police though because you want the police coming to you as soon as the civilian calls the police, make sure you are near, before you they actually call the police, make sure you are near the area you want to be. So I would recommend for the rampage, be indoors, in a lot of cover. So here is the area that I'm going to be. Because we were shooting, that's what got us the level. We already have two wanted levels with the helicopter here. The reason you want to be indoors is because of the good cover and helicopter shooting you won't be able to see you. Um, in the area that I am now, I have set up areas that I always want to be in. In the area I am, it's the hotel area, so there will always be security guards here already. In the area I am in now, it is my favorite place to be in cover. I sit here with my wildfire um, and just peek around the corner. There. Are there are three ways to be behind cover. Um, the down low corner. Um, standing, like, standing up over here. Standing up and peeking out. And being behind cover fully and aiming out with your gun. Like this, if I can get it to work. There we go, right there. The only problem is you won't be able to see much, but you will be... Um, under full cover and that is the best when you're going on a rampage you need to be indoors undercover so you need to make sure you know the building in this building there are three entrances the one that I came through <laughs> over there and right there in the position I am I find it best there are two camping spots here this position I'm in now and down the hall in that room but you have to go around the building and unlock that room first. So we will do that as soon as we get to level four. Um, cause that is when the SWAT team comes and the juggernaut with the juggernaut, the juggernaut. And the juggernaut takes most damage from explosives. Will take damage from bullets, but is better used with explosives. That's why I have the frag grenades ready. IEDs are better because you can have them in one specific area, but any explosive is fine and will kill him effectively. Oh, and I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, this isn't really a rampage video. It's more of just a rampage tutorial. And I will do rampage videos eventually, and I will make it harder for myself each episode. So it is now level 4, I'm going to loop 
around into the area I want to be in where I am more protected so in that area there's only one and there are two entrances but they both have to be unlocked this one will be unlocked from over here so that way I can camp and just aim at the door so it is not over here that is the trick the entrance that I was the third entrance that I was saying is right over there so you have to come if you're going to use this building which I would recommend you have to come around here and go to this back area where you will unlock this door and do not unlock that door unless you want to be basically rushed so now that they have lost me I have to go outside and lure the in how to do that is just to shoot up in the air presumably at the helicopter so I will find the helicopter and okay never mind there's a cop right there come on see me see me killed him all right go 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 so I will go to the actually no I'm not going to go to the back room I'm going to be right here so they can get in through there because the unlock is on the outside they will be able to get in through there so watch out for that the more you stay behind cover the better right there you can see the juggernaut right now it is really hard it is very hard to kill him with bullets so i would recommend using explosives but for now we are just going to use come on come on come on nope never mind he's going to wait run 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 all right so you need to try and always aim for the head that's just basic common sense when you're fighting people so i really like using the wildfire just because it has a good ammo capacity and it works like an smg um it sim the similarity um come from the black ops 2 weapon the mp7 which is a really good weapon in my eyes so right now we have almost reached five levels of five wanted levels so now i have reached level five i'm going to be heading to the back room and waiting there Usually they will not find you in the back room, so you need to be around this area. Only go in the back room if it gets too hectic, because they will most likely not find you unless you, unless there are tons of cops in here. So usually the cops come in waves, but here's one thing to note. You can't get rid of cops by killing all of them. You can only get rid of cops by following well no i'm getting away from them so i can hear the second juggernaut coming the second juggernaut is the exact same health and does the exact same damage as the first one so they're just coming from over here i will head to the outside over here and then wait over there and just kill them then the helicopter will be left and will reinforce people. Alright, now they know where I am. Hopefully, they will notice that I'm here. Alright. I'm not going to head outside because the more they see me, the more cops they will send. And right now, there are only... I count four cops on the minimap. You need to always make sure you know how many cops are here. So for some reason they are not taking the entrance that is right here. They are going around. So I will go and meet them there. I am assuming it will be the Juggernaut. So I'm going to pull out my LMG which does the most damage. So if I step out here and it's the Juggernaut, he will recognize me easily yes right there the juggernaut so it is the juggernaut i am shooting him all right i killed the second juggernaut now they're the the chopper is still here and you stepped outside you saw that red light hopefully 
well, the red laser, that means that it will shoot me. So right now, as far as I know, the cop, no more cops are coming for some reason. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure most of the cops are dead. Come on, come around the corner. If I kill him, I couldn't really kill him. So I need to find a car. While you're, why do I keep getting invaded? That's him. Dead. All right. Good. These guys are not smart. All right. So now the cops are coming again. I will come out here and start shooting these guys. So I am almost out of ammo. I'm going to actually drive away in a car. So I need to come. I need to wait until they get out of their cars and then run over here to get a car. Get out of your cars. Yes, they're all out of their cars. All right, a third juggernaut is here. All right, put away my gun so they don't detect me yet. And I'm going to make my escape now. So rampages will end in two ways, you dying or you driving away in a car and escaping. But there is a motorcycle he right here, so that is lucky. I'm going to drive away and make sure that they can't find me. For some reason, this car, this um, thing isn't really working. Okay, so they are about to, they just noticed me. So I need to run away now, because now the helicopter can actually shoot me, which is really bad. There are three SWAT, four SWAT team cars here, so um, like I said, now it is going to end with me dying. Because it never really ends well when you have five wanted levels and you are outside walking. So, anyway guys, that is going to be the end of my tutorial on going on a rampage in Watch Dogs. Hopefully you did enjoy. I certainly did making this video. I'm going to work on my reputation now, and I will see you all later. Peace out, gamers.